To put it in perspective, about 25% of our assessed debt burden emanates from non-central government operations, mainly from SOEs. Our ability to institute better governance standards of these institutions to address their liabilities and promote their growth will be significantly improved, especially in this period of collective reform. Critically, we must all remain committed to the agreed wide-ranging and strong structural reforms designed to address structural weaknesses and build resilience in key areas, including tax policy and tax administration, expenditure economic control and areas clearance, financial stability, financial sector plans, review of statutory funds, governance and corruption, debt management, fiscal credibility, and energy sector and cocoa sector SOE reform. With legacy debt in the energy sector reaching about two billion as at the end of May 2023, and an estimated shortfall of 5.9 billion US dollars between 2023 and 2025 due to the current conditions of SOEs and IPPs in the value chain in the sector. The sector has been prioritized for comprehensive reforms. It is expected that structural reforms in the sector should reduce the shortfall by at least 2.95 billion over the period. These reforms, which are aimed at sustainably reducing losses in the energy sector, will be outlined in the updated Energy Sector Recovery Plan, ESRP, which will be approved by Cabinet by end June 2023. It will be accompanied by, amongst others, the operationalization of a framework to guide the granting of energy sector subsidies by end June 2023, implementation of an inter-utility debt settlement framework on a quarterly basis starting from June 2023, and implementation of a mechanism to enforce the guidelines of the cash waterfall mechanism and natural gas clearinghouse uh, by end June 2023.